Lighthouse of Alexandria. The Lighthouse of Alexandria is situated at a small island of Pharos in Egypt, built in 214 BC. But after repeated earthquakes, it reduced to mere a skeleton of the remains. And in 1480, the Sultan of Egypt turned it into medieval fort. The lighthouse was commissioned by Ptolemy, the Greek general. Who stayed behind to rule when Alexander the Great conquered Egypt? Shortly after, he declared himself pharaoh in 305 BC. It took 33 years in completion. It was 300 feet tall. Of Artemis, this temple was built in the sixth BC. On the west coast of Asia Minor, modern Turkey, it was a huge and enormous size temple, and was soon considered to be the wonder of the ancient world. But it was deliberately burned in 4th century BC, and then it was rebuilt. It got survived till Gothic invasion in 267 CE. It was again built in 401 CE. For the last time, it was destroyed in Christian mob. Only its remains are found in the Mediterranean. The Temple of Artemis was a splendid place dedicated to Adon and worship Greek goddess of hunt Artemis. It completed in 550 BC. This is also called the Temple of Diana. Pyramids of Giza. Three of these pyramids were constructed roughly. About 2,550 to 2,490 BC, these were built by the kings of the kingdom, named Khufu, Khafre, and Makor. These monuments are the sacred places or the sacred relics of Egypt's old kingdom, and they were built 4,500 years ago. Egyptian pharaohs considered themselves as god. And expected a luxurious life after death, so they built for them the tombs, full of gold and other things, which would be required in case of eternal life after death. The first pyramid was started by Khufu in 2550 BC, and his pyramid is the largest one, and it is 481 feet high above the plateau. Khufu's son called Khafre. Built the second pyramid in 2520 BC. He also made a sphinx. A sphinx is a mysterious creature with the head of a human being and the body of a lion. The third one is the smaller one. Comparatively, it was built by Pharaoh Menkaure in 2490 BC. Statue of Zeus and Olympia. This statue is the wonder of the ancient world, and it is one of the two masterpieces by the Greek sculptor Phidias. The other statue is of Athena, who is the goddess of war, protection, and safety. And her statue was placed in a tomb, but the statue of Zeus was placed in the Temple of Zeus at Olympia in Western Greece. The statue is 40 feet high and plated with gold and ivory, presenting good setting on the throne of cedar wood. Zeus is sitting on the cedar wood, and he represents the splendor of life. Zeus is the god of sky and thunder in the ancient Greek religion, who ruled the gods of the Olympus. In 1800 BC, the Greeks held a supporting festival. Every four years, to honor the gods of Olympia, before entering the arena, they sacrificed something for Zeus, and alleged to be fair to the god. But there, to natural disaster, nothing left. Colossus of Rhodes. It was the statue of the sun god in Greek, whose name was Helios. The statue was erected in the city of Rhodes. Which stood at the harbor of Rhodes from 280 BC. It was 33 meter high. An earthquake that destroyed the enormous statue 
and its massive pieces blocked the harbor for a millennium before melting down in 7 CE. Helios was worshipped devotedly in Rhodes, there he was the most significant deity, their patron, and he was honored by Helia festival. Colossus of Rhodes represented god Helios and was built to thank for the victory over Demetrius when Demetrius, the successor of Alexander the Great, and the siege to Rhodes. He left all the machinery at the outcast of the roads, but the natives cleared all the machinery, and in order to thank their favorite god Helios, they established his statue there. Hanging Gardens of Babylon Hanging Gardens of Babylon are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Today, they are situated in the present-time Iraq, but only its remains are found there. The king of Babylon built gardens and presented it as gift to his wife to shed off her boredom and homesickness. His wife was a Persian princess named Samuel Ramus. It is said to have been built in 600 BC. A German archaeologist, Robert, went in search of this fabled land. He began the excavation in 1899 in Babylon, where he discovered a unique arc structure. A hair terraces lie above the arc like stairs, and it was irrigated by water. Mausoleum of Hany Carnassus. It is a monument that was the tomb of Mausoleus, the king of Caria in Asia Minor. This tomb was built in the capital city of Hany Carnassus, that is now called Batrum in modern Turkey. It was built about 353 to 351 BC. It was built by his sister and widow Artemis. This was designed by a Greek architecture, Phytius. Ultimately, both of them were buried inside the mausoleum. It retained the splendor and got one part destroyed due to the earthquakes in the 15th century. In 1850, the British archaeologist Charles Newton recognized that the embellishments at Bartram 